Hello, dear children. Today I will be telling you the story of Little Red Riding Hood. I hope you like it. Once upon a time, there lived in a certain village a little country girl, the prettiest creature who was ever seen. Her mother was excessively fond of her, and her grandmother doted on her still more. This good woman had a little red riding hood made for her. It suited the girl so extremely well that everybody called her Little Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother, having made some cakes, said to her, Go, my dear, and see how your grandmother is doing for I hear she has been very ill. Take her a cake and this little pot of butter. Little Red Riding Hood set out immediately to go to her grandmother, who lived in another village. As she was going through the wood, she met with a wolf, who had a very great mind to eat her up, but he dared not, because of some woodcutters working nearby in the forest. He asked her where she was going. The poor child, who did not know that it was dangerous to stay and talk to a wolf, said to him, I am going to see my grandmother and carry her a cake and a little pot of butter from my mother. Does she live far off? said the wolf. Oh, uh, I say, answered Little Red Riding Hood, it is beyond that mill you see there, at the first house in the village. Well, said the wolf, I will go and see her too. I'll go this way and you go that, and we shall see who will be there first. The wolf ran as fast as he could, taking the shortest path and the little girl took a roundabout way, entertaining herself by gathering nuts, running after butterflies and gathering bouquets of little flowers. It was not long before the wolf arrived at the old woman's house. He knocked at the door. Tap, tap. Who is there? Your grandchild, little red riding hood, replied the wolf counterfeiting her voice. Who has brought you a cake and a little pot of butter sent by the mother? The good grandmother who was in bed, because she was somewhat ill, cried out, Pull the bobbin and the latch will go up. The wolf pulled the bobbin and the door opened, and then he immediately fell upon the good woman and ate her up in a moment, for it had been more than three days since he had eaten. He then shut the door and got into the grandmother's bed, expecting Little Red Riding Hood, who came some time afterwards and knocked at the door. Tap, tap. Who is there? Little Red Riding Hood, hearing the big voice of the wolf, was at first afraid. But believing her grandmother had a cold and was hoarse, answered, It is your grandchild, Little Red Riding Hood, who has brought you a cake and a little pot of butter mother sends you. The wolf cried out to her, softening his voice as much as he could. Pull the bobbin and the latch will go up. Little Red Riding Hood pulled the bobbin and the door opened. The wolf, seeing her come in, said to her, hiding himself under the bedclothes, Put the cake and the little pot of butter upon the stool and come get into bed with me. Little Red Riding Hood took off her clothes and got into bed. She was greatly amazed to see how her grandmother looked in her night clothes and said to her, Grandmother! What big arms you have! 
all the better to hug you with, my dear. Grandmother, what big legs you have. All the better to run with, my child. Grandmother, what big ears you have. All the better to hear with, my child. Grandmother, what big eyes you have. All the better to see with, my child. And grandmother, what big teeth you have got. All the better to witch you up with. And saying these words, this wicked wolf fell upon little Red Riding Hood and ate her all up. The poor little girl had forgotten that before she left the house, her mother had told her not to talk to strangers and especially not to change her path. But the little girl forgot. She talked to the wolf and she also took another path. When the wolf had appeased his appetite, he lay down again in the bed. He fell asleep and began to snore very loud. The huntsman was just passing the house and thought to himself, how the old woman is snoring, I must just see if she wants anything. So he went into the room, and when he came to the bed, he saw that the wolf was lying in it. Do I find you here, you old sinner? said he. I have long sought you. Then, just as he was going to fire at him, it occurred to him that the wolf might have devoured the grandmother and that she might still be saved. So he did not fire, but took a pair of scissors and began to cut open the stomach of the sleeping wolf. When he had made two snips, he saw the little red riding hood shining, and then he made two snips more, and the little girl sprang out crying. Oh, how frightened I have been! How dark it was inside the wolf! And after that, the aged grandmother came out alive also, but scarcely able to breathe. Little Red Riding Hood, however, quickly fetched the great stones with which they filled the wolf's belly, and when he awoke, he wanted to run away, but the stones were so heavy that he collapsed at once and fell dead. Then, all three were delighted. The huntsman drew off the wolf's skin and went home with it. The grandmother ate the cake that a little Red Riding Hood had brought and revived. But little Red Riding Hood thought to herself, As long as I live, I will never by myself leave the path to run into the wood when my mother has forbidden me to do so.